What I'm most proud of being part of Mount Sinai is being a member of an institution that drives for excellence and is working on being an innovator in medical education. As part of our community, Dr. Wisniewski is an extraordinary scientist and an extraordinary human being. There are not too many researchers in any institution who manage to have such a broad influence through their work. Juan Pablo Wisniewski is a tremendous researcher whose work is immediately relevant to how we deliver care to patients with serious disease and are underserved. His research is focused on chronic pulmonary disease, lung cancer, and most important, disparities in care. My research tries to understand and provide evidence of what is the best management of other patients with lung cancer. We do a lot of research on asthma and COPD, focusing on trying to look into the needs of inner city asthmatics, which suffer a higher burn of the disease. The lessons learned from Juan's research has direct impact on patients' clinical care and outcomes. Juan has done some comparative effectiveness research that examines how many lymph nodes need to be dissected during a surgery of a person with a certain type of lung cancer. And he has been able to pinpoint that number. The information that he's generated will help lung cancer patients, doctors, decide what the best treatment strategy is for patients when just a few years ago, they didn't have any guidance for making those decisions. Being a researcher, the creativity plays a role in trying to see a problem and try to look at it from a different perspective. You need to step back and try to think, you know, what could be alternative reasons for what's going on? One of the unique things about Dr. Wisniewski is his ability to be agile with his science and his clinical knowledge. Juan was called upon to lead the effort to create the COVID-19 registry, and he did it in record time, pulling together scientists from across the institution and really rapidly getting this thing underway so that nearly seven or eight hundred people have already been recruited. We're having interesting findings that seem to show that patients that recover from COVID have positive antibodies more than a year after infection. The richness of the data that they're collecting is going to steer the way towards treatments of these people and maybe even help prepare us for the next pandemic. It's a great honor to receive the award, the Jacobi Medallion. In terms of being thankful for this award, I will start with my parents. I want to thank my mentors and many other that guide me through many years, and of course, my wife and my family, my kids. This individual who I recognize as being extraordinary almost three decades ago has gone on to do great science, and seeing this happen and seeing him get this award has been a sense of great personal pride to watch. I feel my main legacy is this group of investigators that I have trained and I have helped develop and that will hopefully continue to do research and investigate new issues, find solutions, help patients, you know, advance public health. After being 20 years in this field, I still feel that I have uh, the passion. I wouldn't do anything else.